Ooh. Got my camera all messed up. It's trying to fall over on me. Hi, right. there you guys are. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day. I think day today is day 280. So for 280 days in a row, you have got to see me every morning um, putting out a daily vlog video, which means I only have like 80. 80 or 85 days left to go so whew, hopefully I can get through all of these uh, it's been a challenge on the road and all to get a, a video out every day so today I'm, I'm in Jeff City still out in the country we spent the entire day working like we got up this morning got our computers out and we just started working um, looks like Bo, Bo their dog is, is barking the neighbors must be here anyway they're cooking dinner and I am just trying to get a video out and uh, so today while I was working man lots of things happened today but one of the biggest things and you guys saw my video last week and I was like look check your insurance so we put a post out today telling people you know our story of how we didn't have any medical insurance on our insurance even though we thought we had medical insurance so we posted that out and there's been tons of comments of the same people that have literally called their insurance and figured out that if they wrecked into a deer into a tree or anything like that they literally had no medical coverage so I'm going to reiterate to all of you guys very important call your insurance company it won't take you 10 minutes make the phone call and make sure that you are covered because oh, it would just suck so bad one guy was talking about his medical insurance covered five grand and he ended up owing two hundred thousand dollars after his insurance paid the five grand guys don't get caught in that situation so i implore you make that phone call i'm not in the insurance business i don't understand it i think it's all pretty much a racket but um no i'm not here trying to sell you anything i am just trying to get you to figure out what you got and protect yourself because i don't want to hear one of those stories from you anyway um, on to some other things. So, uh, you know, there's lots of, some people call it competition out there. People that, uh, you know, do YouTube and Facebook and talk about motorcycles and, um, you know, and a lot of people like take it as like serious competition. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that like badmouth other people and, um, you know, are just they don't collaborate well they consider it competition and Angie posted a a picture I thought was great so it's okay to support another person who is doing something similar to you it won't hurt your business if anything it'll help you both um, competition happens at the bottom collaboration happens at the top and the truth of the matter is is that seems to be what happens right um the bigger channels if you'll notice um they all like work together like in in the motorcycle world um like the bike builders all the big bike builders notice that they all know each other and they all do stuff together and they collaborate and yeah they have some fun kind of like ribbing each other um in the public eye but the truth of the matter is they're all like work together and build great bikes and do the shows together and, and all that and um, that's in life too guys so you know just because somebody's doing something similar to you does not mean that they're competition um, reach out to them see what they're doing maybe they're doing something different um, you know maybe they're doing something that enhances what you're doing but anyway Find a way to collaborate together and then both of you can grow versus this, right? Where neither one of you are, are benefiting the other one. In fact, you're probably both hurting yourselves and each other just because you're not willing to collaborate. So that's kind of my, my theme of the day, the week. We meet a lot of people. We meet a lot of people that either do what we want to do or, um, you know, or want to do what we do. And, you know, we always try to take time to have a conversation with them, give them advice. Uh, on Facebook, well, there's a group called um, Support Bikers Content Creators. That's for people that do what we do to all get together and share tips and hints and tricks 
and uh, you know the same thing with motorcycles like a lot of people reach out to me with questions on how to fix their motorcycle what's the best parts for their motorcycle and um, I try my very best to give them the best advice I have um, I'm not a mechanic uh, most of you guys know that I work on all my own stuff but Who's to say I do that right? Um, I have not been to school for it. It's all self-taught um, and I have a good time. So I try to give everybody the best advice that I can. But uh, I encourage you guys, if there's something that you know about um, that the average everyday person may not, uh, if you see a question out there in one of our groups um, or just on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, and you know the answer or have your version of an answer, answer it for them, right? You may be helping them out more than you know. And uh, that's what it's all about. Life is too freaking short not to help your fellow biker out, um, your neighbor out, whatever. I wish we could go back to that. I remember back in the day, like, this is a story from, from me as a child, but my parents, like if somebody new moved into our community, and we were a small town, right? So, you know, not a lot of people moved into our community. But when they did, my parents were out with like groceries. Like they would buy a couple of bags of groceries and show up at this person's house, knock on the door and say, welcome to the neighborhood. My name is, it's great to meet you. We live down there. If there's anything we can do to help you, um, please let us know. We're here to help. And, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't exist anymore. That makes me sad. Um, even to, like, somebody was telling a story about they were parked alongside the highway and, like, bike after bike after bike went by, car after car after car went by, and then eventually, like, a car stopped, and then a bike stopped, and, but, you know... It took all those people going by before they stopped to say, Hey man, you all right? Anything I can do to help? Um, I think with today's world, we're like, you know what? He's got a phone. He can call somebody. He doesn't need us. What if his phone's dead? I do this from time to time. What if he forgot his phone at home? I mean, come on, guys. It, it takes 30 seconds to stop and say, Hey man, are you okay? Um, a lot of times you don't have to stop like I will go by and do this to people and if they do this fantastic if they do this then I know that they need me to stop and help them uh, there's a sign you know everybody talks about the universal sign as a helmet on the ground behind the bike well what if you don't wear a helmet I don't wear a helmet a lot of times so just slow down say hey man you all right give them a thumbs up if they give you a thumbs up great if they don't stop just see if you can help. Uh, I've had a lot of people tell me, well, I don't know anything about bikes. I'm not mechanically inclined. You don't have to be to give them your cell phone. Or maybe they need a fuse and you're carrying a spare one. Or, I mean, there can be a thousand things you do not have to be mechanically inclined to help. So just stop. Maybe you have an ice cold bottle of water and they've been sitting out there for a couple hours and you can give them a, a bottle of water. I mean, just stop and ask. Um, that's all I'm asking. Um, be, be that good neighbor, right? Let's have more of that in the world and less of the, well, look at the guy I broke down. That sucks. And just keep on going. Anyway, that's it for today. That is episode 280. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, we'll be on the road in another week. Uh, and these videos should get much more interesting. Anyway, sorry if I bored you to death. I hope you guys have a kick-ass day. Take care of your neighbors. Take care of fellow bikers. And um, remember, it's not competition. It's collaboration. We will see you later.